I tell you what, you can watch these highlights all night, and uh, unfortunately we haven't got time to do that, but we'll just have a look at some of the highlights of our winner, Sam Mitchell. <laughs> As, uh, as Jeff Kennett said earlier, Hawthorne prides itself on being the family club. And it is my absolute delight to welcome Gwen Crimmins, the wife of Peter Crimmins, part of the Hawthorne family for longer than we care to remember, to present the medal to the 2011 Peter Crimmins medalist, Sam Mitchell. Very nice to bump into Gwen on these nights, isn't it? She's always got something for you. Yeah, <laughs> good to see Gwen tonight. A sensational individual performance in 2011, notwithstanding a somewhat hectic and chaotic home life. Yeah, it was uh, reasonably tough, particularly the start to the year. But uh, How many have you got? I've got three. Got three. Under? Uh, 18 months now. Yeah, so that's good. Three under one at the start of the season, so that was... Uh, no wonder you put a lot of time into the football club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a few, uh, a few sessions that I probably, whether I should have gone to them or not is debatable. You won your first uh, Peter Crimmins medal in 2006, your second in 2009. Do you think you're a different player in 2011? Uh, a little bit. I think I was probably better defensively uh, this year. Worked pretty hard on that, particularly after the early part of the season where I got caught out a few times and... I uh, worked pretty hard on that defensive side of my game and uh, the coaches rate that very, very highly and it's a very important play. You look at the sides that are successful in September and the 1st of October this year and uh, they're very good defensive sides and thought I had to improve that part of my game and still, and still do, but I uh, thought that was the, the biggest upside to my game this year. I've got to ask you about Brownlow Medal Night because I don't think there was, uh, would be one person in the Hawthorne family that wouldn't have felt a little bit for you uh, during the course of the count were you a bit surprised yourself at how many votes you polled? Yeah, I tried to have a look at it uh, on the day and see how many I'd actually polled because there'd been a few articles written about all that sort of thing from Chris Grant and all that. And uh, I thought I'd probably poll about 20, which I didn't think would be enough. And uh, I certainly polled a lot more than uh, I thought I would. And I, I don't think I deserve to be a Brownlow medalist on the season I had. Uh, I was pretty happy with polling as many as I did. And I thought... I don't know about that. I reckon... I'll what do you reckon, folks? Yeah... I reckon you had a pretty good year. Um, Sam, I'm sure there are some people you'd like to, uh, like to thank. Yeah, there are. I guess uh, first and foremost, you run out on the field, and it's a, although this is an individual sort of a night, uh, you can see by the way everyone's gone about it, that it is a, very much a team sport, and in, in particular Hawthorne is very much a team club. And to the, the guys you run out with uh, every week, um, you know, it means a lot playing footy with a bunch of guys that you love hanging out with, and and going to war with, and in particular the two guys behind me who just had fantastic seasons. And um, So to the players, firstly, I guess, thanks very much. And um, to all the coaches, in particular, I guess, Adam Simpson and, and Brendan Bolton, who spent a lot of time in the midfield group and um, spent a lot of time trying to develop us and coach us. And, and it's probably a very frustrating task at times, but thanks very much. Uh, I guess to uh, a couple of significant people leaving our footy club, obviously Jeff has been spoken about heavily tonight, so... Uh, congratulations. Great, Jeff. Thanks for all you've done for the footy club. Um, 
I had to work very closely with you for a couple of years there and um, that was hard work and I was very happy to hand that part of the job over to Hodgie. Uh, he he uh, had his troubles with it this year. It was great for me to just be able to have a bit, a bit, a bit more hands off. And Ross Smith, who's not here tonight, I caught up with him this week and uh, I think he had a wedding or something like that. But Ross Smith has been a you know, really important part and the guys behind me who play in the defence, you know, very, very uh, improved players thanks to Ross. So wish him all the best at, at Richmond and... Oh, I guess the most important for me, and uh, particularly this year, has been uh, my family and my wife, Lyndall, finally got a night out of the house. So, yep, round of applause. So, uh, I've had a few awards nights and all those sorts of things, and trying to work out nannies and all those sorts of... All of that has been very, very hard work, but great for uh, Lyndall to be able to come along tonight. She's been uh, just an enormous amount of support. For me, our, our year has been uh, very, very hectic off the field and uh, fortunate that I was able to play some pretty good footy on the field. I probably forgot uh, one story I, I wanted to tell was Mark and Lynn Evans, who was our footy manager and, and his wife. You know, when we went into hospital with the girls at the start of the year, um, we had no clothes for them because we didn't realise they'd be so small. And they went to the, you know, um, they went away and bought us all these clothes and brought them into the hospital for us and... You know, Jeff has popped up at our door and just knocked and woken the kids up, but knocked at our door and, um, you know, come to see, just some, come to see the kids and, you know, bring little gifts and things like that. So when you get that sort of support from people within your footy club, um, you know, it does make you feel pretty good about where you're at. Um, but just once again to, to Lyndall in particular and the kids um, at home, it's been, meant a lot to me this year, uh, being able to go and play footy you know, and, in, and really enjoy that part of my life, but having kids at home who uh, mean the world to me. So I'd just like to thank thank all of them, and I guess last of all to the, I think, 11 or 1,200 fans and members that are here, thanks very much for your support. Uh, I think 50, 56 or 57,000 members, I think they're going for 60, or if Jeff was still in charge, probably 70,000 members. So... Um, to Andrew Newbold, good luck trying to uh, keep hold of whatever the membership targets are for next year. But, you know, just very, very uh, appreciative of winning a uh, Peter Crimmins medal and to the Crimmins family and everyone involved in the Hawthorne family. Thanks very much and enjoy the rest of your night.